Today we're showing you how to grill beef short ribs. Okay guys, these are beef short ribs. Um, and basically what these are, we're gonna grill them up Korean style. Uh, a lot, I haven't seen a single video on YouTube about these yet and I think a lot of it is because I think they're on the Asian channels. Uh, and it's and that's also called galbi. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna grill them uh, on the grill grates with charcoal, give them a good smoky taste. Uh, Amy's gonna show you how to season them up and marinate them. We're gonna marinate them, let them sit for about two days, and then we're gonna throw them on the grill, and we'll show you that whole process. Uh, what these are is if you can look look close, you can tell what they are. They're just a rib, but instead of slicing them traditional style, they're beef ribs and they're sliced basically at a 45 degree angle if you were to turn your ribs and cut them the other way. So they're real thin, they don't take a long time to grill. Um, you gotta watch them when you're grilling them. Uh, we're gonna walk you through the marinade process and if you try this at home, it's gonna be the best short ribs you've ever tried. All right, so while Mike is over there rinsing off uh, the meat, I wanted to show you real quick some of the ingredients in our marinade that we're gonna do. Um, you're gonna need um, some green onions, um, some soy sauce, honey, brown sugar. You can use darker or light, but I like the dark brown sugar. And we also use as a seasoning, this is a Korean soup stock beef flavor. The brand I get typically is called Doshita, and I'll try to put that in the description so you guys have it. Um, it adds a really good flavor, and I actually use that seasoning when I cook other things like fried okra and fried potatoes and stuff like that. It has a really good seasoning to it. So I'm going to start cutting up my onions, and then I'll show you guys when I put them in for marinade. Okay, she's slicing onion. <clears throat> uh, basically, what we're going to do is uh, show you guys what all marinade goes in this. And like I said, we're going to throw it in the fridge and let it soak for a few days. Uh, we got turned on to this recipe and we kind of made it our own uh, from our uh, uh, Amy's uh, My sister in law. sister-in-law, right. She's Korean and uh, of course, you know, we, we come in and we kind of Americanize it. <laughs> but we're going to throw it on a grill and uh, uh, show you. They're, they're, you've got to cook them kind of quick whenever you cook them. They're, it's real thin meat <clears throat> and uh, if you're not careful, you'll burn them. Uh, all of these ingredients that she's using uh, are really flammable. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna cook them on my grill grates and uh, it, it's gonna keep it from flaming up and uh, charring the meat because that's the biggest hurdle when you're cooking this meat. So stick with us through the whole video. We'll walk you through it step by step and uh, it's gonna be uh, an awesome dinner. Stick with us. Alrighty, the beautiful Amy is gonna take over and show you how to marinate this meat. Here we go. Okay, so Mike has already taken it and rinsed all of this off. Um, so I have all of my ingredients all together. Typically because these take up a lot of space and I like to usually marinate things in pans or glass things like this, but there's so much of it that I have a giant Ziploc bag here that I'm gonna put all the meat in and I'm gonna layer it. I'm gonna put the meat in and then add things and then so on and so forth. So. Yeah, those are huge guys. I use those for uh, brining turkeys. Right, get so on Amazon. I'll get it open. I don't think I've used one quite this big before. I usually don't use one quite this big. So I'm just gonna fold it down just for, to get my hand in there. Um, but the first thing I do is I take and put a layer in and doesn't have to be any certain way or anything like that. Just start layering them in there. And you're gonna flip this bag around in the refrigerator because it's gonna be in here multiple days. But, um, so that's what I do there. Um, and then I first start with um, the Dashita uh, soup stock here. And I just poured some out. It's about a, a half a cup, I think. And I just take it and I just put a layer of this all over. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And all inside here. Same and so thing I just, as a rib rub, yeah, basically. Yeah, so I just cover it all with the seasoning. And then I basically just grab with my hands some of the green onions and just put that on that layer. 
same with the garlic. Let me grab a little spoon. Yeah, you guys might want to write this down. That's a lot of ingredients. Right, and so. I just take it and kind of put the garlic around in there. And then I take um, some soy sauce and just pour that on top like that. And that will start mixing all that together. Um, I also take a little bit of honey to add a little bit of sweetness. And I just kind of layer it. Nothing's, you know, crazy or anything like that. Um, and then I also take uh, the brown sugar and just take a little bit of it <coughs> and sprinkle it in there. So the sweet and the salty kind of mix together. And of course, everybody knows brown sugar and onions are so, are, and garlic are so good together. So that's that first layer. And then I just keep repeating the steps over and over until I have all of my stuff marinated. Yeah, there's quite a bit. We bought two packages. Um, these are available pretty much anywhere. If you go to um, Walmart, Walmart has them. I've noticed Sometimes that- Sometimes Walmart does, sometimes yeah. they don't. It's, it's, but you can probably ask for them. Yeah. And then um, any Asian market will have any them. Any Asian market carries them. Theirs seem to be a little bit thinner. Uh, the supermarket, they cut theirs a little bit thicker. Um, and I've noticed that at the smaller grocery stores, uh, that's that's where you find them. Uh, like, you know, we have one here called... Uh, Dong A. Well, yeah, that's the Asian market, but then there's another um, Pruitt's. Oh, Pruitt's. Pruitt's. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's a grocery store here, kind of a mom and pop shop grocery store. They have their own butcher on site uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can find them. You just got to look for them. But they are, I'll show you when the grill is over. Uh, I mean, it is, they're phenomenal. And, you know, you, you marinate them here for a couple days to make them real tender. And uh, when you bite into these, they're just phenomenal. Yeah, they have a really good taste. And just layer on up. Okay, she's all marinated up, <clears throat> uh, and, uh, oh, nope, it's oh, okay, I was like, man, we're leaking on the counter. <laughs> no. Okay, what we're going to do is put it in a big pan, like this one, right here, and uh, we are going to stick it in the fridge uh, two days, 48 hours. And make sure and flip it from time to time, like for now, we'll put it in like this. And tomorrow you reflip it so all of that yeah. yummy goodness is getting mixed inside there. Yeah. So. I'm telling you guys, these are going to be phenomenal. So we'll see you in a couple days. Okay, here they go. They are getting ready to get on the grill. Uh, remember, <clears throat> they've been in the refrigerator now for two days. Over here, if you look, got the grill grates in and coming up temperature uh on these to cook this you want that surface to be around 500 to 550 on those grill grates spraying them really good with uh, duck fat and just letting a little bit of that burn off uh before we throw them on there so i'm just letting them heat up today we're using jealous devils uh lump charcoal uh, i lit it in my starter chimney which is down there I'm done with it now and uh, I put just a few briquettes of that ridge charcoal around it um, because uh, I know this jealous devil charcoal is going to last, but you never know. We got a lot of meat to, to grill, so I just wanted to make sure we're going to get all the way through the cook. Got my intakes right now about halfway closed just so the fire doesn't just skyrocket. Um, I'm going to get this temperature up here to about 300. These grill grates, they say... You can always add 275 to 300 degrees box temperature below the grill grates because they kind of hold the heat down below those grill grates. So you don't, you sure as heck don't want to see this, you know, up around four or 500 degrees. That's way too hot. So you got to make sure your grill can take that. So going to let it come up to temperature, throw the meat on, and uh, we'll show you guys what they Here look like. The sizzle. We are ready. Whew. Smoky. Kind of 
coming back up to about 300. You want to stay right at about 300 with these, and you can tell I've got my fire choked back pretty good to maintain that. Um, and on this smoker, all I'd, I leave it all the way open until it comes all the way up to where I like it, around 3, 325. I don't like to see that temperature start getting into the 400s with that grill grate on there because it's a little hot. So about a quarter of the way open on your outtake uh, and uh, about a quarter, quarter inch on your intake and you're good. Go ahead and flip them, see what they look like. There we go, look at them grill marks. Nice. Nice. Like I said, guys, we're not cooking steak out here. These are just short ribs, so probably have to cook them a little bit and then flip them again. Kind of let the marinade work in. But you get one of these little handy dandy spatulas from Grill Great. Kind of pop them up. That way you don't lose all your marinade. And you could do this on propane, on the propane side. I've never tried that, but imagine you could. They're made for that. In fact, when you get the instructions, it says four propane grills. That one's kind of stuck in the back, so. Let's see what we can do. There we go. We are. We're getting there. But, man, I, what I love about these grill grates is this stuff, usually when I cook it, it's just flaming back and just burning everything. These grill grates don't do that. I love it. Moving some of these around. I mean, it's charcoal, so there's going to be hot spots. And I'm just kind of doing this with my grill grate to keep everything unstuck so it doesn't stick to the grill. But I just moved some of the ones that don't look as done over there and the ones that are done over here so that everything's kind of cooked evenly. Shut it back up, and we're about done. Okay, so here we go. That's what they look like when they are finished. And look at those pretty grill marks on them. So we're going to finish cooking. We'll take you guys inside and do a taste test here in a little bit. But... That's what they look like when they are done. Okay, finished product. Um, and you'll notice the edges, they look burnt, but they're not. All that is is just a real heavy bark on it from sugars and stuff like that that's in the meat. But man, look at that. Looks good. Turned out really pretty. So I'm gonna slice it. When most people eat this, you just pick it up and go at it. I mean, there's no certain way to eat this, but just for taste test purposes, we're gonna cut a little chunk off right here. And I'm going to try it. It's really good. Is it good? Salty. Um, you can taste soy sauce. Uh, yeah. But it's not overly salty. It just tastes. has a really good seasoned taste all the way through the meat. And it's perfectly cooked. So give that a try. Yeah, That's a good my, recipe. One of my favorite. One of our family favorite. That's how much it made right there. We switched to flat iron about halfway through the cook. So when the meat's touching a flat iron like that, this this marinade has a lot of sugar in it. So it'll get a little bit darker, but I guarantee you it's not going to taste burnt. It's, it's a great recipe. You guys give it a shot. Yeah, definitely. And we like to pair it with um, some white rice, steamed rice. And we also love um, kimchi with it. But, you know, you can fix what your family favorite thing to to go with so. and if you guys like what we're doing here make sure and hit subscribe and follow us on future videos we're gonna have a ton of new videos on barbecuing um, this was just something different that no one else that I've seen has done yet but man check us out we're gonna have a lot going on here in the future we appreciate you guys and we will see you next time bye, bye. we're gonna go eat